James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's June 2nd, 2023, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, Earth's electromagnetic shields have been being hit all day long. Not excessively, but we see spikes up to two and 300 hertz. And this has pretty much been going on for at least the last six to eight hours. Let's take a look at what that actually means as far as the Schumann resonance is concerned. Jumping over to our Schumann resonance, it actually looks like it is caught up to real time here. The 20 should drop in right about here. They haven't put the tab in, but that would uh, well end up right about where we're at currently. We have about the last eight hours of spikes. You can see they're on and off, but many of them have been very strong. Take a look at the geophone hits up here, and several have gone quote-unquote off the charts at 105 plus hertz. These don't look like the strongest spikes we've ever seen, but again, here we are with spikes off the charts almost every day for the month minus just a couple of days we had a very slow day yesterday thus i did not report on the schumann residence also the last slow day was the 26th of may as you may recall today it looks like we actually picked up right around 10 utc time maybe a bit earlier and it's 20 UTC time right now, or just after that. And we've had ongoing spikes with some gaps between for about the last 10 plus hours. Now we had a large gap, and we see another spike that's just occurred. And this is real time here. This comes up to right at 2200 UTC time. Of course, most of these spikes have been off the chart here that ends at 50 hertz since 10 UTC time or just about 4 a.m. Central time here in the U.S. ongoing. Now, we did have a lull here, and we'll see if that is reflected on the CERN model when we get there. Taking a look at our geophone hourly strips, each line is an hour cut up into 15-minute segments here. And it looks like at around 11, or really at just after 10 UTC time, we started seeing our geophones getting hit. And we've had at least one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven hours before we're in a lull. Uh, we're at 1800 UTC time on this chart. We're really closer to 2021 20, UTC time. So this is lagging but you can see how many consecutive hours these shim resident spikes have been going and you can also see that 1500 utc time and 1600 utc time are the most powerful spikes we had these two lines would equate to 9 a.m and 10 a.m central time here in the u.s this morning here we can see the spikes were starting at about or just before 10 UTC time and all of our indicators show significant spiking in the Schumann residence. Now we have seen stronger spiking this week or in the last seven days, but these are significant and they were picked up by all of our sensitive equipment, our geophone, our ULF noise collection, our ELF noise collection, and our second SR frequency. All of them reacted in the way they should. It looks like we are taking a lull, maybe headed right back into more Schumann spiking, but currently it does look like it is taking a break. All right, over here on the left, you can see that they did take a lull from 10 to 1800 UTC time. This is instantaneous luminosity over here, which we're going to have to look up and figure out what exactly they're up to. But uh, again, they're going back at it here. So if the Schumann resident spikes up, because we're seeing only up here to 1800, again, we're going to be sure that this is what's causing it. After reading about symmetry theory, M theory, string theory, etc., 
there's a good chance that these people are either trying to look into a higher dimension, move into a higher dimension, open a door into a higher dimension, or at least increase our vibration and frequency so that uh, they may see lower dimensions or into higher dimensions, actually. This machine is on, and it's on just about full power currently, although it is slightly below, below that. We're seeing 6,799 GAV right here. So very, very close to the 7,000 uh, full power. Jump in over to discover our real-time solar wind and solar plasma. Let's find out if this has anything to do with our electromagnetic shield being hit uh, and our Schumann resonance, and we see that it really does not. Looks like the peak of plasma for the day was right around, well, under 5 centimeters cubed. No geomagnetic storm there, no crossover up top. And we had wind start off at 450 uh, kilometers per second, and they have gone down all day long, and they're currently right around 375 kilometers per second. Nothing here is considered anything but normal solar activity. No solar storms shown here. This huge dip in plasma associated with this, uh, this bounce here in solar winds is a little odd. I do like how the temperatures drop with the plasma as it's supposed to here. I don't know what would cause plasma to go from 2.5 down to just about nothing here. But with that said, there is no solar activity that would be causing the Schumann resonance or our electromagnetic shield to look like it was impacted. I'm also going to show you exactly where the station is located so you can get a better feel for it. As we zoom in, you will see it appear here. And there she blows. It's the town of Kuniana, which is where this model is located. And there's no, uh, well, there's no lightning or thunderstorms anywhere in the area. This would be hundreds of miles away, at least. So, if you ever wondered where it was located, you now know. There it is, right there. We will zoom in a very small town, as you can see. Now, everyone can see that we had a break here from about 1900 to about 20 UTC time, uh, which is much like the Illuminati over at CERN. We'll have to take a look and see if this takes off. If it does, we may have a correlation. At this time, I really have not figured this out. Please let me know if you're able to sense these spikes how they may affect you personally. Uh, the usual symptoms seem to be, uh, well, tired, maybe fog of the brain, uh, maybe vertigo, nauseous, etc. But please let me know how these spikes affect you if you sense them. That said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Share and subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.